my live gene can you see me I had to improvise here I had to get on my iPhone because my uh, MacBook would not uh, work with Justin TV so this is my phone I hope it works fine can someone just confirm that um, that you can hear and see me okay good um, all right, good. Let me start, and I apologize for the uh, technical issue. I have never used it before, but I have a quick uh, a quick fix here, thanks to my iPhone. Okay, um, <clears throat> let me take a look at the questions in the Facebook chat here. Um, please begin by explaining how people profited from their writing, artwork, inventions, and other creations. Uh, prior to the advent of IP and patent laws. Um, okay, so here's how I look at it. Um, I don't know if anyone here needs an overview of the sort of modern free market approach to intellectual property, but um, let me get a little closer so that – and let me mention, by the way, before we get off track here, let me just copy this into the Facebook feed. Um, Okay, so I will be actually in about three or four hours uh, teaching a uh, Mises Academy webinar tonight at – I think it's 5 o'clock Central Time, 6 o'clock Eastern Time – on the new patent reform law, which Obama passed on Friday. So I've got an hour and a half webinar on that. So Gene was asking how did um, um, people profit from writings, artwork, inventions, and other creations um, before IP and patent law? So let me um, – um, let me give a brief overview, and if anyone wants to interrupt me or ask questions, feel free to. I'll, I'll monitor the Facebook feed here. Um, so, I mean, the Industrial Revolution started, you know, around 1800, and uh, modern patent and copyright law really started around 1900, but in the two or three centuries before that, um, they started in a kind of spotty way, and basically, copyright law control of this, the printing press, so it was, it was a form of thought control and censorship. Um, patents originated in the practice of monarchs granting monopolies to favored um, cronies of the court, uh, explorers, privateers, or pirates. Um, you know, um, so the crown grant one company the exclusive right to sell playing cards in England, for example. Uh, which of course wasn't their invention, but they just gave them the right to sell it. And then of course the crown would uh, use their police powers to search and seize competitors of this playing card company, and they would then use this uh, uh, power they have over the third monopolist to get them to help uh, with uh, taxes and uh, duties and things like this. So the origins of that – that's copyright. Was, the origin was in censorship, and the origin of patents were in um, uh, basically mercantile of the court. Uh, over time, these laws were streamlined and democratized and institutionalized to their modern form. Um, of course, before these laws were uh, as they are now and as they've been for about 200 years, you basically didn't have any institutional form of intellectual property. Um, so the way people profited from their ideas was the way they would do it in a free market, which is um, they would face the situation that any entrepreneur on the free market faces, which is… By the way, I'm having a little bourbon today and my Mises, uh, Mises glass if anyone's interested in that. So 